super simple. It's literally just making my bed. I'm sure you've heard someone else say this before me. It's like the first thing of the day where you can like tick it off and be like, yes, I've accomplished something. For me, I've been making my bed literally every day since I was like 10 years old. So it's literally just a habit for me now. I get up and make my bed. It makes my room look tidy. How do you have it? Number three. <laughs> the first bit of music I listen for the day it needs to hype me up a little bit. It needs to set the tone for the day. It needs to put me in a good mood. So for me, that is praise and worship. On the way to the gym in the morning, I will be blasting I Thank God and I am not sorry about it. And habit number four is moving my body. This is a habit that I picked up during the first COVID lockdown back in 2020. Prior to that, it is not something I prioritise. It was something I wish I prioritised, but I just never had the motivation to do something about it. So having the extra time in lockdown, I took that time to, I guess, instill this little habit. So now I try and move my body like three to five times a week. Um, that could be going for a walk, it could be going to the gym, but anyway, that is healthy tip number four. Tip number five, and I thought everyone did this, but then it occurred to me that not everyone does. It is when I get home, I take everything out of my car that I bought into it when I got into it. So my car's always clean and ready to go, like blank canvas vibes. That means taking my drink bottle, it means taking my lip balm, it means taking obviously my car keys because we ain't getting our car stolen today. Gym towel, phone. And you guys, that's healthy tip number five. Healthy habit number six is to have a shower ASAP after exercising. I find if I leave it too long after I've exercised, then I'll get like back knee and stuff, which nothing wrong with that, but if I can avoid it, I will. Healthy habit number seven is having a solid skincare routine. This isn't something that I valued until I realized how much a solid skincare routine can make or break your skin. I have psoriasis, so I have incredibly dry skin. And I spend a lot of time putting together the perfect skincare routine for my skin. Again, it'll be different for yours. If you guys want me to do a video more in depth on my skincare routine, let me know. I can do that. Um, but anyway, that is healthy habit number seven. And on to healthy habit number eight, which is super simple, literally just eating breakfast. I know some mornings I wake up and I don't feel super hungry. Like I don't, I feel like I could literally march through till lunchtime and not eat. But I know that's not the greatest, but this morning I'm gonna have toast. Healthy habit number nine is taking vitamins. Now this is gonna vary from person to person. You may not feel like you need any. That's totally okay. For me, at the moment, all I'm taking is like a hair, skin and nails supplement because my nails got really, really brittle and they kept on breaking, which um, was not very practical. Healthy habit number 10 is not going on social media before breakfast. This is something I've loosely been doing for honestly probably a couple of years now i used to be someone who would wake up like literally wake up and just scroll for like 20 minutes for what reason i don't know now i wait until i've got myself like pretty much completely ready then i can catch up reply to messages whatever start my work day and it just sets the tone for the day you know and you also may notice that 10 of my 20 healthy habits occur before my work days even started and literally the first three hours of my day. Those healthy habits are the foundation to set me up for a successful day. Habit number 11 is not using my phone or looking at screens during my morning tea, lunch and afternoon tea breaks. I work from home so I feel like it's kind of easy because I just leave my phone and my computer and like go grab some food and come back. I spend literally my nine to five looking at screens so it's nice just to have that like 10, 30 minutes to step back and not be scrolling. Healthy habit number 12 is closing all of my work tabs at the end of the day. So I have the luxury of working from home every day, which is fantastic. But that also means that finding that work-life balance can be a little bit tricky because you're working and living under the same roof. To try and differentiate my work from my normal day-to-day -day life, when work's finished, I because I use my own computer for work, I close all of my work-related tabs and like completely switch off my work for the day so that I don't have to think about it until I start again the next day. Healthy habit number 13 is turning off all notifications on my phone except the necessary ones. What you determine as necessary will be different to what I determine as necessary. I have always, for like the past two or three years, I haven't had Instagram or Facebook or TikTok notifications on and people are like Emma but like aren't you missing out on stuff? I thought I would too but you actually don't. Today I was actually listening to a podcast from Beth Parks and she talked about how she literally has all notifications off except for texting and calling. If people need to get hold of her she knows that they will text or call her or they know to text or call her. So today I have taken it a step further and I've turned off my Snapchat and my Messenger notifications. I'm always continuously trying to 
decrease my screen time. Turning off my Instagram and Facebook notifications definitely helps. And I think that Snapchat and Messenger will just take it a step further. Healthy habit number 14 is doing the dishes while I cook. I can't show you guys this tonight because I'm not actually cooking dinner tonight. And mum does not do this. So, But when I cook, I always fill the sink up with water. Well, not necessarily before I get started, but once the dishes start coming through. So while things are like cooking or whatever, I can just wash the dishes, put them to the side, and then dry them and put them away so that I'm constantly working in a clean space. A, it makes my cleaning a lot tidier, my cleaning, my cooking. And it also means that once dinner's cooked, you eat it, and there's less mess to clean up. So you can get the mess cleaned up super quick and then just carry on with your evening. Healthy habit number 15 is flossing my teeth daily. I never ever used to floss and it's not something that I even thought of doing until I went to the dentist last year and since I'm over 18 my dental care is no longer free and so I had to pay like $500 to get all these like fillings and stuff like I've always had terrible teeth so got my little floss here and I floss at night time before I go to bed. Healthy habit number 16 is laying your clothes out the night before. This is also something that I've been doing since I was in high school. I used to just put my uniform out so I'd wake up in the morning, grab my uniform, go have a shower and didn't have to cause any fuss. And I've just carried on doing it because it just, when you get out of bed it just like takes one extra hurdle away from the process. So I've set, that's really cute, I've set my gym clothes up the morning so when I wake up I roll out of bed, get changed and we're away laughing. And healthy habit number 17 is scheduling time to rest. This is something I've only kind of come to terms with in the last 12 months. Previously it was like go go go, sleep and then just like repeat. But I found that scheduling time to rest I actually have time to do the things that I love to do that I just don't prioritize. Simple things like watching TV, reading a book, going for a walk, playing guitar. So I try and schedule try and schedule at least half an hour of something restful during my day normally at the end of my day before I go to bed so it kind of helps me to wind down so anyway I'm gonna watch some Ted Lasso because I'm still behind it's nightly gratitude I got this gratitude journal in 2020 at the start of lockdown it's from Kmart so I have no idea if they still sell them or not but it has just a little bit of space to write down something that you'll let go of seven things you're grateful for and four things you'll focus on I try and do this every night when I'm at home like if I go away I don't actually take the book with me but I try and at least think of some things and I feel like it's just a really good reminder that even when your day feels like it might have been absolute rubbish there's still things to be grateful for. Healthy habit number 19 is to be hydrated before you go to bed. I don't know if there's any scientific anything whatever to back this up but I always find just like an anecdotal observation is that when I drink lots of water before I go to bed obviously my body is hydrated and I wake up the next day feeling more energized. I basically just try and drink, not like this whole thing, maybe like a glass of water before I go to bed. And healthy habit number 20 is getting at least eight hours of sleep. I am someone who thrives off eight or more hours of sleep. Anything less than that is a little bit marginal. So I do try at the moment, try and go to bed between like nine and quarter past nine and wake up at quarter past five. Obviously on the weekends, go to bed a bit later, wake up a little bit later. General rule of thumb, as long as I'm getting my eight hours of sleep, I am good as gold. That's just for me. If you know exactly how much sleep you need to thrive, by all means, go for it. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you guys for joining me on this little, cause it kind of ended up being like a vlog to be honest, of my, I mean, I've been saying healthy habits, but as I said earlier in the video, they're just habits. They're not necessarily healthy per se. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you took at least one thing from this video. Um, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below one of the habits that I shared today that you are going to implement into your life. Wow, I feel like I just sound like a school teacher. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. The first bit of music I listened to for the day is not this. Or, what am I talking about? Habits, not tips. I was sweet. Yeah, that, I just combined some words there.